Dr. Pavlik, how do targeted treatments work to treat advanced non-melanoma skin cancer? Uh, targeted therapies are approved for basal cell cancers. Um, in particular, certainly not for squamous cell or Merkel cell, but basal cell, because basal cell cancers um, use a pathway called the patched and the smoothened pathway to uh, multiply and metastasize or spread to other parts or just continue to grow. And hedgehog inhibitors uh, will inhibit that or block that path, particular pathway. These pathways are so highly overexpressed in basal cell cancers that we don't even need to check when we do a biopsy. We don't routinely check and send the biopsy to see if these tumors have those pathway alterations because 99.9% .9 of them do. And so we can easily give this targeted therapy to a patient with basal cell cancer. Um, the nice thing about giving a targeted therapy is like shutting off a light switch. If the light is on and the cancer is using this pathway, if you shut the switch or block that pathway, things get better very, very quickly. Um, part of the downside to some of these hedgehog inhibitors are some of the side effects. Because basal cell cancers occur in older populations, these are patients that may in fact be sicker or more frail. Um, and one of the, actually two of the side effects that can occur from hedgehog inhibitors is alteration in taste and the feeling that you're just not hungry. So anorexia. And if you've got a thin, frail patient and now you give them something that's going to deter them from eating even more, they may be problematic. And not everybody gets those, but those are the most concerning um, patients do have a chance of having hair thinning or a hair loss with hedgehog inhibitors. Um, another reason why many people just will say to me, I, I don't want them, even though it will respond faster. I'd rather do, to, you know, be treated with immunotherapy because then I'm not going to lose my hair. And for a lot of women, no matter what your age is, Hair is an important part of who you are. Um, and the last other significant side effect of hedgehog inhibitors is muscle cramps. And many times this will happen in the middle of the night. People will really get really bad Charlie horses. I have patients who say they get cramps in their fingers or cramps in their hands. Um, not as easy to manage. Uh, we do know that sometimes by giving patients a medicine called amlodipine, which is commonly used for blood pressure. This may help re resolve or uh, reduce the number of cramps they get, um, but it doesn't work for everybody. And, and so you kind of have to balance out how quickly do you need this cancer to go away or respond? Because if you do use a hedgehog inhibitor, you're going to get a very rapid response. If you use immunotherapy, just think about it. You've, you've got to wake up your body's immune system. You've got to get those T cells to get moving. And so responses are not going to be in a matter of days. It's going to be more in a matter of weeks, whereas with hedgehogs, your responses are seen in a matter of days. Wow. So sometimes it could be a difficult decision to make. Yeah. You have to weigh out pros and cons. Um, you know, sometimes you have patients who can't swallow pills. Well, if you can't swallow a pill, then a hedgehog inhibitor is not on your list of things that you can take. Um, and, and to the contrary, some people are just really adverse to having to come in and get an infusion um, because they may have needle phobia or they just don't want an IV infusion. And then a hedgehog inhibitor is your first line of therapy.